I think it's safe to say we've gotten to the point in the offseason where the big moves are done. Maybe there's still a trade or maybe there's something we don't know about looming, but the really big moves are out of the way for the Browns. Uh, so has this offseason, even aside from losing the number 17 overall pick, do you think their offseason has changed their draft strategy, Mary Kay? Well, obviously it really had to. I mean, when you don't have the number 17 overall pick, it changes things dramatically because I think we all thought that they would go out and maybe get one of those good defensive mm -hmm. linemen. Well, they've got Olivier Vernon now. They've got Sheldon Richardson. Uh, so now you can kind of have the luxury of taking whatever falls to you at number 49 overall. I don't see them climbing back up into the first round as of right now. I think they'll probably stay where they're at. Where they're at. They might move up a little bit in the second round. Mm -hmm. I do not see them making a big push to go back into the first round. And again, when they do get to the second round, uh, I still think they're going defense. Scott? You know, I think last year taught us that free agency and, and trades don't necessarily tell us what John Dorsey is going to do in the draft. You look at the defensive backfield, he really remade that, that mm -hmm. cornerback and safety last year, and then he went out and took Denzel Ward with the fourth overall pick. So mm -hmm. um, that obviously didn't, didn't stop him from addressing the, the position. I think maybe they're looking more now at depth than they were maybe as, as people who can come in and start right away, especially on the defensive side. Uh, but I... I don't know that it changes it overall. I think defensively is probably what they were looking at to begin with, and it's probably what they're still looking at. Yeah, when you look at the big moves, obviously that's one thing, but a lot of John Dorsey's smaller moves are about kind of building a roster that doesn't need to put pressure on these guys that he drafts to step up. Now look, I mean, Antonio Callaway steps up and has a nice year. Jannard Avery has a nice year. Denzel Ward wins the starting cornerback job. Those are all bonuses. Those are things you want to see happen, but he's not putting pressure on these players. and. John Dorsey's going to stack talent on talent on talent. You remember he signed Michael Kendricks last year in June when it seemed like the linebacking core was, was kind of set. Um, and, and he had a, a, probably a starting job before he ended up with those insider trading charges. So mm. I think a lot of his moves are just about stacking talent and creating competition. So just because he did something in the offseason – before the draft doesn't mean he's not going to maybe beef up that position in the draft. Another thing that I keep thinking about is, even though they have Greg Robinson at left tackle, mm -hmm. he only has $500,000 guaranteed in his one-year contract. And again, it's a one-year prove-it deal. So I still think that there's a good chance that they will draft a left tackle. Yeah, it's, it's about creating competition mm -hmm. and having lots of talent on that roster, and it should make for a fun training camp.